Hey, all you sassy preppers, it's time for a Costco haul. I've never done one on my channel, but we're gonna do one today, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Sassy Gal Prepping. And uh, after my last video and everything that's been out in the news about, um, you know, diesel shortage and what that means, I went ahead and went to Costco with my husband today. And we got some things that we had needed, that we were out of, but then we also picked up some meats and proteins and then some other things. We did see some limits on certain items, but I will go through that. So here we go. All right, so this was one of the main things I needed today because I let myself get down to the last <laughs> trash bag. These things last us forever and I just was not paying attention. So let this be a reminder to all of you is to take this time this weekend or the next few days to just do an inventory on all of the things that you use on a regular basis and see if you have enough. <laughs> So um, these kitchen bags, there's 200 bags in here and they're $18.99 for the box. Um, and then I'm, I'm starting to, um, on some of these things like dish detergent, laundry soap and things like that, I'm starting to write when I opened it so I can see how long it lasts. So I really wanna know how long these kitchen bags last us. The last box just seemed like it was in there forever. So we got some bananas today. And again, you guys, I don't know why bananas are so cheap. This whole bunch of bananas from Costco was $1.79 for three pounds of bananas. I don't understand why bananas are so cheap right now, but um, I'll take it. I will get as many bananas as I can and I'll freeze them if I have to. So I have a love-hate relationship with Costco, but I needed milk and we were there. So I went ahead and got milk, but guess how much it was? Look at that, $4.39. I am so, oh, I'm so sick to my stomach. <laughs> All right, I went ahead and put that in the refrigerator. The next, we did get some canned chicken breast. There are um, six cans in here, and the whole thing was $14.99, which made these cans $2.49 each. And y'all, I believe that that is cheaper than Walmart has them for um in the case the case of 12 i'm gonna go do a check on that downstairs in the basement where i have the rest of, of these cans of chicken and we're gonna do a check on that and see if that is a cheaper price okay we also got some of this canned pulled pork this pulled pork was 10.99 for the four pack and that makes each can 275 so I thought that was another good deal on uh, the pulled pork. So that's going to go in our inventory. Then I got another package of um, salted butter and these were $13.79 and these have gone up a lot <laughs> at Costco, um, but I really like their butter. All right, you guys, this was like my deal of the day. This was five dozen eggs. This would be equivalent to the box of eggs at Walmart, okay, 60 eggs. Costco had them for $9.29 for the five dozen. Can you believe that? It's 13 something at my Walmart, and I know other people at their Walmarts have them even more. So I don't know if egg prices um, vary between the Costco's like they do the Walmart. So that's something I don't know, but um, we went ahead and got this whole thing of eggs five dozen eggs for 9.29 well okay y'all i am making sacrifices for the team i got half and half this time instead of the heavy whipping cream the heavy whipping cream is almost five dollars uh per quart and i i'm like okay well at least i'm going to have some cream in my coffee it may not be heavy cream but it'll be half and half and so each one of these is $2.29. So I could get pretty much almost two of these for the price of one. And so I said, all right, we're just gonna go with this. All right, we didn't have any more popcorn. Again, something else I wasn't paying attention to and I let it uh, go empty. So we picked up another box. There's 44 bags of popcorn in here for $12.99. Then moving on to the meat. I thought that this hamburger was actually a pretty good deal because it was $4.49 a pound. Walmart has their one pound ground beef for 
or was it 446? It was right on par with Walmart. So I went ahead and got this. It's seven pounds of hamburger, um, 32.28. Whew. Then we found some chicken breasts. Um, now, there's two different kinds. There's the organic and then there's this kind. And so the organic was $5.99 a pound, but this was $2.99 a pound. And so I went ahead and got this chicken. It's $25 for the pack. And there's a bunch here. One, two, three, four, six packages. And <laughs> what is there, like two or three in each one? And then we also found some chicken thighs. These were 99 cents a pound. So I went ahead and picked this up for $9.67. And again, it's six packages. One lady there was doing this for a taste test. It is goat cheese, blueberry lemon. Y'all, I did not think I would like this, but I actually loved it. So she said we could freeze it. Um, you know, I ate it on a cracker. <laughs> I was happy. So we're going to go ahead and freeze this and um, enjoy that at a little bit later date. Then I found these uh, storage containers. There's four of them in here. And it was on sale for $10.49 for the four. They have their lids with them. Uh, we did pick up a case of water. This case of water has 40 bottles in it. It was $3.99. And y'all, okay, I was a follower today. We were going and we were watching other people and what they had in their carts. And everybody, everybody had water in their cart. So I don't know if this was a special price because y'all know I get mine at Shop, Sharp Shopper. Um, but everybody was having at least two to four cases of water in there. So I went ahead and picked up a case. Y'all, I'm blending in, going gray man, doing what everybody else is doing. But yes, I was totally a follower today. And then uh, we did need some paper towels, so we went ahead and got a pack. Last week we got a super-sized pack of toilet paper, and this week was paper towels, and it was $17.99 for 12 rolls. Then I picked up another um, package of these Coffee Mate coffee creamers. I emptied one of these packages, so this is to replace that. It's $11.99 for um, eight of them. And then, this was something new we've seen in the stores. These are energy drinks, they're called Zoa, and they're zero sugar, and they were on sale today for $12.49, which makes them just right around a dollar each. All right, and this is the last bit of the haul. We picked up a package of these croissants. These are for $5.99, and I don't even know how many are in here, at least a dozen. We got some of that, hopefully we'll make some tuna salad or chicken salad and use those up. This is getting hard to find, but they did have some of these there, not very many. Two of these raisin swirl, um, of these raisin cinnamon loaves were $5.39. We did get some of these for tomorrow morning, the cinnamon pull apart. This whole thing was $6.99. This is um, a wonderful Sunday morning thing to have with coffee. And let's see, we found these grain-free tortilla chips. These were on, on demo today, and these are very tasty. A hint of sea salt, they're made with avocado oil. This bag was $5.99. This is kind of on the, the bougie side of, <laughs> the, of the tortilla chips, but I was thinking more of um, for those people in my house that need to have some grain-free things. And then we got a big bag of Tostitos for $4.99, and there is the end of the haul. Looky here, y'all. The last time I bought this Kirkland chicken breast, it was $2.99 a can. And today, it's $2.49 a can. That is awesome to me. All right, y'all. That was the haul. I am tired. I just sat down and put my feet up because shopping at Costco is exhausting. Plus, when you're trying to stock up your pantry, it's exhausting. And then putting all that stuff away, yeah, we're putting our feet up and taking a break. So let me know what you thought about the haul in the comments below. And until next time, y'all, prep it up, pack it up, and stack it up.